begin so i'll just take the recap of uh, last time class we have started uh, unit 2 which is based on the time series usually time series is a basically it's a arrangement of the data in chronological order that means it is a pertaining to the time okay and so many applications we have in last class mainly uh, we are discussing about the type of uh, components which are the what are the type of uh, components of the time series so we have seen the secular trend which is also known as a long term moment seasonal variation cyclic variation and irregular variation so secular trend will be as usual it is increasing decreasing and remain constant okay seasonal will be always uh, based on seasonal product like summer season there may be the demand of cold rain okay winter season there is a demand of uh, sweaters festival season demand of sweets and etc okay so it depends on the seasonal seasonal variation cyclic variation it is a long uh, duration long term movement which is occurring uh, maybe in a one year there it is a four phases that phases usually prosperity is recession depression and recovery and this will be the always continuous so to, it is pertaining to the business so that is all an irregular variation is a variation uh, which is uh, not in your control which can happen in it like you don't know about that suddenly there is a like lockdown in india or suddenly some strike is there suddenly some problem is arise so that is called as basically a irregular variation okay then uh, if you want i will give the some of the examples also so you may like can anyone tell me go to chat box and write down uh, go to chat box and write down this is the which type of uh, variation for example uh, sales of greeting card goes up in diwali go to chat box and write down we have four type of variation so out of which is the this one sales of greeting card goes up in diwali and christmas which which variation it is seasonal variation correct so it is a seasonal variation then uh, suddenly earthquake or war happen in by over in india which variation which is the variation irregular because we don't know about the security so there are several examples uh, there you can go through see any references book or you can just type the Uh, type in google it will be get so many examples of these type of variations then let us move to the mathematical part of this because so far we have discussed about uh, uh, we have discussed about theory of that let us see the mathematical models <coughs> sorry now there are two types of usually i can call three types but basically we will more discuss about two types additive models additive models means the name itself it says additive means we are going to add the components so yt is your dependent variable and seasonal variation cyclic variation in secular variation it is called cyclic variation okay and t is called trend means Sorry, you can just look at st means st represents seasonal value, ct represents uh, cyclic value, 
TT represents trend value and RT represents irregular value or random value. So this is a, basically called as an additive model because you have added all the components. Okay. Obvious, this ST will not be appear in the series of annual data. Okay, because it is the very high jump. It's very high jump because if you just consider a data of a seasonal, like if you have only three this month uh, data, so there will be a very high jump between this. Whereas if you just consider normal series like secular or a trend, it will be very normal range. Okay, so that is the difference between this and this series. Okay, so sometimes they ignore this uh, seasonal variation. Additive model implies that seasonal forces, cyclic forces and irregular forces operates the equal absolute effect means we are just additive model we assume that uh, the seasonal cyclic and irregular with equal absolute effect on the trend value so this is why t is known as a trend value this is called as a trend value remember this is the value we need to, we are interested we are interested always in the trend value what could be effect in my dependent variable when this independent variable get affected okay so usually we call dependent variable but now in in time series we are interested to be know this trend value we always call as a trend value okay so make sure that we are using this trend particular name so additive model assume that all four components of the time series operates independence independence of each other so like uh, we are not assuming that they are dependent all are all components are independent so that the none of these components have any effect of the remaining so suppose there will be no effect of so that's why we are assuming independent otherwise there will be dependency between these two components so just go through that concept then we have a multiplicative model means we just multiply all components okay and the only thing is that uh, uh, in multiplicative model we are adding these components why we are why we are adding this see if, if one component is going to be zero then a whole component is going to be zero and their trend value become a zero okay so for that to ignoring that uh, uh, i can say uh, problem we have taken log both the sides okay so it's become log of y so you can just look at this expression to this expression so it's a log of y plus log of st log of ct log of pt log of why we are taking log that's the reason is that if ct will be zero or, or st will be zero then whole term is going to trend value become zero and the and i will say multiplicative model will be not much useful okay but if you take log and then even the some component becomes zero it doesn't affect my other number okay so that's why usually usually the additive models are quite useful usually multiplicate uh, multiplicative become difficult for us okay then we have a uh, mixed mixed model mixed model means sometime additive model sometimes like uh, we have much see usually you have a two models but but if the question is asked like how many models are there in time series but you can consider three models okay one one was a additive second one multiplicative third one is a mixed model three models say generally we don't uh, use this last model because it is a mix of uh, both components even identifying the components are become difficult task okay but just understand how this particular component works okay otherwise you can explain what is ct what is tt everything like like in the first case which i have explained here na is a pura pura short na explain them so sometime it is asked ki Uh, give me the mathematical model of time series three mark ke liye so you need to just explain the model just explain this model what are the components and the independence wala thoda sa mention kar do that's it similarly multiplicative model concept karo taking log both the sides why we are taking log because if the one components become zero then whole entire the trend value become zero wo mention kar do then in mix model you can just write as it is so yahan pe likha because it is a mix okay any question
can you go ahead now yes okay. fine now some of the uses of time series which we have already discussed but uh, just go through that the time series analysis is a uh, of greater importance not only to the business but also in economist but the people's working in the various discipline like uh, natural social physical sciences yeah, a lot of applications are there okay you can see how this uh, what are the application it is it is helps to knowing the real behavior of past data because because when you predict the what could be my production what could be my trend value that means you are actually you must have the behavior looking the behavior of the past data so you should knowing about the real behavior of the past data then it helps in predicting the future behavior okay so looking as a past behavior one can able to predict the future behavior like the demand production weather condition price etc it helps in planning the future operations so it is very helpful for future operations like if you want to uh, make a stock of like uh, a thousand of quintal of rice for like coming years so you can plan it according to the uh, according to the time series analysis of time series is helps to compare the present accomplishment with the past performance so you can you can just compare the criteria or i can say just compare the present uh, knowledge with the past performance two or more time series can be compared belonging to the same reference period so you can compare the two or more time series but the main thing is that you must have the same reference period okay so like it is not like that ki if you are comparing like 2001 data okay 2001 data with uh, 2010 data no it's not like it 2001 ka suppose what is what was the production of rice what was the production of uh, bajra okay so you can just compare the uh, rice and bajra with reference to 2001 only okay then 2002 2003 so you have to just compare the uh, to a two or more time series data but your reference period should be the same then the very very important part now we are dealing with so that is all about theory part now how to estimate this trend that is the important part okay so mainly now for this uh, to solving our estimation of this trend we require if i hope everybody have already but Still, you should take take a scale, take a pencil, take a eraser, okay, and take one book for writing. I think fifty percent already you have, but if you don't have, you can take this all because that is all required and calculate. Calculate is a mandatory. We we know all this. Okay? So so now onward, whatever the lectures. Yes, but yes, but Hello, hello. May I audible to all? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. So now onward, uh, whatever lectures we are going to conduct, it is you must have these all uh, instruments which is we are going to use uh, for the problem purpose. Okay. So how we do this? Uh, we'll see the theory part. will solve the problem we'll see the theory part will solve the problem like that so that you can understand how this theory can be uh, uh, used or utilized in the uh, practical problem because otherwise just going theory 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 and doing at the end of problem it's become like uh, mem uh, uh, collecting the terms become difficult okay so the first method i make sure that this is the estimation of a trend trend means it's a trend value trend value means you can say it is a dependent variable so jaise ab regression mein aap regression mein uh, you are finding na suppose the height of father is given and uh, sorry height of son is given what could be the height of father like that so the son height is given or uh, or uh, or you can say husband height is given what could be the uh, height of their uh, wife okay so you are interested to estimate the height of 
uh, wife or height of uh, uh, husband when some data is given so we are interested on students i am audible yes sir yes sir this is disconnected okay so i was discussing about the graphical method or i will be say it is a free hand curve method both the meaning is same okay so what this method says name itself we can understand it's a graphical method or free hand curve method uh, if you remember uh, i have uh, uh, under these i think semester 1 only i don't remember uh, you have a uh, two methods free hand curve method and the uh, Oh, what is that next method? Anyone remember? The fre frequency polygon. Yeah, frequency polygon. So there are two methods I have taught you. The same method we are going to use again here. Okay. So that method is basically now. So that method we are using for estimating of a trend. Okay. That. But here we are talking about the. Uh, in terms of time series okay so when we have a data of such a like a yt versus t okay yt use your trend value over the period of time like 2010 11 12 like that then how do you estimate the trend value okay so that is a basically task uh, there in front of so what is the method says free hand smooth curve obtain on plotting the values of yt versus t yt you know you know the trend value and t is your time period okay or year you can call enable us to form an idea about the general trend of the series general trend of the series okay then free hand straight line is drawn in between the points such that the half of the points are above and half of the points are below the line okay so we have half of the points below and half of the points above the line so we have to draw we have to draw the line in such a way that we should plot the straight line assuming that half of the point should be below and half of the point should be above okay and the angle of the line is the idea about increasing decreasing and no change in the data okay and the, what this angle represents either it is increasing or it is decreasing or there is no change in the data trend this is a very simple flexible as it does not require any complex mathematical calculation and can be used to describe any type of trend maybe linear and non linear so this method is generally to understand whatever data i have i'm just drawing randomly i'm picking the point and i'm just drawing the line but making sure that half point will be above half point will be below okay let us let's see the let, let's see some, some drawback what are the drawback it is very subjective the bias of the person handling the data plays very important role and as such different trend curve will obtained by the different person for the same set of data i will tell you what is the meaning of this particular thing okay so when when you, when you just simply do the this thing no? so if i will uh, tell you how it works it does not enables to make uh, measure the trend okay? so you cannot get the trend from the data okay? i will tell you why it is just look at this data suppose you have this data okay so kya bola usne this is your i will call this is your yt okay and let's say this is my t i will just consider this one. fine what you have to do you have to draw free hand curve okay? so let me just draw the free hand curve for this data this is my data and let's draw this data so suppose uh, this is we have a 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट जस्ट पॉइंट आई जस्ट पॉइंट There is some more distance, but I will just consider that. But you consider properly, yeah. I will consider properly. So one, two, this is three. This could be four. So you can you can start drawing the data. Okay? You can start drawing the data. This is two thousand. Let's make the graph of this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the YT data, and here we have a cell. Okay. So just draw this data and let me know what should be your answer. Like how you draw this particular point. So. We need to be. We need to be just draw simply this data, assuming these particular values. So, if you just consider a ten, is it okay? Ten, twenty, like that. Make sure that hundred. I think maximum is one fourteen. So take properly all this. Uh, like ten, twenty. I think ten twenty is not there, so I will not consider. I will uh, simply take five five ka. So it could be around. Uh, I will just say uh, minimum is ninety six. Okay. Let's consider ninety five. Ninety eight. One zero one three three का डिफरेंस आ रहा है जस्ट वन जीरो वन जीरो सेवन वन वन लेवन वन वन टीन ओके जस्ट कंसीडर लाइक इट इट इज फाइव थ्री एट एंड सो Just make measurement properly, okay? And then one one ten. Now you plot like at two thousand one, there is a hundred production or hundred. So it will be one zero one, so approximate hundred would be here. Okay, so just plot the points. Plot the points are made here. So when you do the proper measurements, you can plot it. Properly. Then at two, we have a five. Have a two it is five. Then at three we have a nine. So this is seven here somewhere. But here. Then we have a ninety six. So at four it is ninety six. Some data like this. Then at five it is one zero two. Then I will just assume some data. Then
then what is next? 206, we have uh, 108. One zero seven, we have a one one two. And then we have a one one two. Okay, so this is the actually our uh, data. This is actually our data. Which I have plotted. Now, what we do this, what what we do this with this data? How how do you go, go about this data? Yes, any question? Anyone, any question? No, sir, it's not a car, yes, sir. Fine. Now, you need to be draw, as theory says, you need to be draw a straight line in such a way that half of the point should be above and half of the point should be below. So, how to draw that straight line? That is a very important question. So if I take simply like this point, uh, for example, this way, like that. Now anyone can draw like with any any point. For example, this is just for just this is just so one. Koi bhi do point choose karke banana dena. Nee nee. Koi bhi do point nahi. Randomly you should you should you should draw. Randomly you should draw. But in such a way that half of the point should be below and half of the point should be above. Maximum. And condition why bolta na humko? Condition kya bolta humko? Look at the condition. What the condition says? Look at here. Half of the points are above and half of the points below the line. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is the one way of doing drawing the line. This is the one way of the drawing the line. But this line can be drawn different way also. Somebody will consider uh, like uh, they will consider, for example, uh, I will, I will. Somebody will consider this line. Somebody will just consider this line. For example, this way. For example, this way. See, four points are above, four points are below. Somebody can again think in different way. Getting my point. So that's why this is very subjective. What is the drawback? Drawback pe likha na humne. Kya likha? This is a very subjective. Anyone can draw taking any any point. Can you look at? And the bias, why it is called bias? Because any person can, like, it is the important thing. Trend value will be, so everybody will get the different, different trend trend value. Everybody will get the different, different trend value. So that's why it doesn't give the trend value. This is the, one of the disadvantage of this method. So that's why this method fails. That's why. This method fails. Okay, so one may able to just write like this. Okay. Kya hai pe aapko? So this is my. Uh, I will be just a. This is my trend from here to here. 
this free hand curve. Then here, then here, then here. This is my trend. This is my actual original data. Based on original data I have got. Okay. This is my trend line. This is called my trend line. But actually, this line can be different from anyone. This line can be different from anyone. So anyone can draw according to their data looking as a point above and below. So that's why this method, why this method fails? Because this is very subjective. And everybody will get the different, different lines. So because of that problem, I should not using this method. And I'm going to the next method, which is called semi-average method. This method is called as a semi Why? Have you, have you understood why it is called semi-average method? Why we are using a semi-average method? Because first method doesn't tell us more about the trend value. Because, because as the procedure says, in just considering the half of data above, half of data below, we should drawing that trend line. But actually that is uh, not good for everyone. Everybody gets a different, different trend value. So kiska trend value we accept karenge. So it's very subjective. So that's why that method become a like the tedious method. Okay. So that's why we go for the semi-average. Now semi name itself semi-average. Semi-average matlab half of it. Means data ko half karo aur uska mean nikalo ek series ko dusre mean dusre series ka mean nikalo aur wo points ko plot karo. Okay. So ye method thoda sa better hai as compared to the previous method. So, kya, kya, what this method says? Let's let's read this. In this method, the whole data is divided to two equal parts. Hai na? Mere paas pura data hai. Usko kya karunga? Main two equal parts mein divide karunga. Abhi two equal parts mein divide karunga. So, obviously, you know how to divide. It's something like media. Okay. If the number of year n is even, then two equal parts can be obtained. Hai? Agar even hai to for problem nahi. Agar ten hai to five five four. Possible hai everybody, but if it is odd, then what happens? You need to omit one point. Look at here. We have to obtain omitting the values corresponding the middle year. Agar 11 hai to kya karoge? Aap ek middle value ignore karo and then you take 5 5 ka data. And then we compute arithmetic mean. Deko, arithmetic mean aga wapas se aapka. So basics wapas aara aapka. So arithmetic mean for each part and plot. These two average points, the middle value of the respective periods covered the each part. Means what? Abhi jo points aap nikal hoge. Matai, suppose mera total data hoge. Okay? A to B mera total data hoge. So equal parts matai mera kya hoge? Half part time mene divide kar diya. So, this average is the average of x1 bar and this average is the average of the middle of the average of middle of the plot of the average of the middle of the average 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 the average of the the average of the the trend line. So the line, the points x1 bar, x2 bar, जो भी हमने निकाला है, हम लोग उसको join करेंगे. So, ये join जो line हमको देगा, उसको बोलते हैं हम लोग trend line. क्या बोलते हैं इसको हम लोग trend line. And can be extended both the way to estimate the intermediate or future value. And you can extend this value here, you can extend this value here, you can like जो भी series में जा रहा है, okay, you can extend it and you can get the future value or intermediate value or between values. So this is the whole concept uh, behind this uh, basically a uh, uh, semi-average method. So semi-average method I think it is simple method. Of course series data divide karna hai two parts mein aur middle value nikal ke middle value mein apne ko point banana hai aur dono points ko join karna hai aur wo line humko dega trend line. Matlab abhi पहले वाले क्वेश्चंस में पहले वाले मेथड में क्या था वी डोंट नो वी रैंडमली ड्रॉ लाइन अज्यूमिंग द हाफ ऑफ डेटा अबव और हाफ ऑफ डेटा बिलो बट दिस टाइम वी हैव गॉट पॉइंट एंड वो पॉइंट्स को अपने को ड्रॉ करना अभी इसका एडवांटेज क्या है एज कंपेयर टू द ग्राफिकल मेथड ऑबवियस द एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस मेथड विल बी मोर ऑब्जेक्टिविटी है ना मतलब एवरीबॉडी गेट द सेम पॉइंट 
everybody will point uh, draw the same line okay to get the estimates of trend value rigid lead is com comprehensible as compared to the method of least square but but still you can understand i am just considering the two points i am just considering the two points and based on that two points i am predicting i am obtaining the trend line what about others data so that's why this method will be least i will be say uh, useful as compared to least square method and uh, uh, moving average method okay so that we will see in the uh, maybe the next part so this method assumes that the linear relationship between the plotted points which are not exist when i say about this method assumes that linear relationship between the plotted point which may not be exist because you are considering the two points na तो अगर तू आप केवल दो पॉइंट्स पे ही आप ड्रॉ कर दे रहे हो यू आर नॉट कंसीडर द रिमेनिंग पॉइंट तो जस्ट थिंक ऑफ ये जो रिमेनिंग पॉइंट्स पे जो आपने डेटा नहीं ड्रॉ कर रहे हो उसका क्या यूज होगा तो मतलब ये पॉइंट्स के बेसिस से मैं ये डेटा ड्रॉ कर दे रहा हूँ बट इसके बीच में अगर मेरा अगर ऐसा डेटा है तो ये तो लीनियर होगा ही नहीं ना आपका इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी लीनियर बिकॉज देर आर सम पॉइंट्स द पॉइंट्स कैन बी लाइक दिस तो पॉइंट्स आपका ऐसा जाएगा इट्स कल भी लीनियर है ना अगर मेरा ऐसा डेटा है और मैं इसके बेसिस से पॉइंट ड्रॉ कर रहा हूं तो इफ आई आई जस्ट अज्यूम दिस टू पॉइंट्स एंड विल ड्रॉ लाइक दिस बट एक्चुअली इफ आई हैव सर्टेन पॉइंट्स हियर देन माय डेटा विल बी लाइक दिस व्हिच इज एक्चुअली नॉट लीनियर इट इज कर्वी लीनियर सो दिस इज द वन ऑफ द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ दिस मेथड एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट वी कैन नॉट यूज सम टाइम दिस मेथड ओके सो जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट वर्क सो अभी ये मेथड का हम लोग प्रॉब्लम देख कैसे प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करेंगे टेक द सेम डेटा टेक द सेम डेटा एज एनी वन कैन कैलकुलेट दिस पर्टिकुलर सो वॉट नीड यू नोट टू डू हियर i'll remove this line because now the line which i have to draw we have to just find out so sabse pehle hum log points nikalenge is now how many years we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 4 4 ka yunga matlab x1 bar can be obtained using considering these four points so 100 105 109 96 Whole thing divided by four. This will give us the x1 bar. Similarly, consider x2 bar, which is the point of this one. So 96 plus 102. Sorry, is 102, one zero two, one zero eight, one one two, one one. Anyone just calculated? Let me know. What is the average of this value? can i think can calculate that value so since your n is even right n is even na because we have 8 years so n is even so if you divide in two equal parts so first x1 bar can be obtained just adding first four year and second one can add it using नेक्स्ट फोर ईयर ये मेरा एक सीरीज हो गया 2001 से 2004 तक का एंड 2005 से लेके 2008 तक का मेरा एक सीरीज हो गया बट सपोज इफ 2009 इज देयर तो 2009 रहेगा यहां पे तो n इज नॉट ऑड इफ n इज ऑन जस्ट ओमिट दिस 2005 वाला फर्स्ट सीरीज आपका सेम ही रहेगा 
और नेक्स्ट सीरीज जो होगा वो 2006 से 2009 ये कॉन्सेप्ट आप जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट वर्क एनी वन कैलकुलेटेड यस व्हाट कुड बी एक्स वन बार या सो एक्स वन बार इज कमिंग या वन जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव राइट समबडी आन Why am I giving correct answer? This is one zero nine point five, and this is uh, sorry one zero two, so one zero two point five, and this is one zero nine. Now, where we have to draw this form? That is the important part. So, since what is the middle point here? Two zero one to two zero four. Ka middle point kya rahega? It is in between this line. Two thousand three, two thousand two or three ke beech mein aayi, right? मिडल वही रहेगा तो यहाँ पे हम लोग वो पॉइंट्स ड्रॉ करेंगे तो वन जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव ड्रॉ करेंगे तो दिस कुड बी हियर अप्रोक्सीमेटेड टू हियर एंड टू जीरो फाइव से टू थाउजेंड एट तो मिडल वैल्यू विल बी सिक्स सेवन क्या है वन जीरो नाइन वन जीरो नाइन में भी हियर सेवन हो गया एट नाइन टेन इलेवन तो एट नाइन इज अमेरिक Can just consider some area. And now I will be draw this one. means you can draw properly for us amira just to just understand how this particular so if you just do the properly uh, uh join these points see, uh, make sure that obviously it will satisfy the uh, uh first method but it is not always true so you can look at now this is my actual trend value and everybody now we will get the same answer trend value ka because these two points are fixed na everybody will get same answer 102 and 109 sabko same hi answer milega aisa nahi kisi ko alag answer mil raha hai kisi ko alag answer aisa nahi hai right and then you plot these points in between मतलब मिडल में प्लॉट करना है, बिकॉज वन जी टू जीरो वन से लेके टू जीरो फोर का मिडल कहाँ रहेगा आपका ईयर में कौन से ईयर में आएगा टू जीरो थ्री और टू जीरो थ्री टू के बीच में आएगा सो यू हैव टू ड्रॉ देयर एंड इफ आई आस्क यू इफ आई आस्क यू कैन यू प्रिडिक्ट सेल कैन यू प्रिडिक्ट Tell see also predict the sales for 2011. Can you predict for 2011 what could be sales for 2011? Anyone? Anyone? Try to predict it. So, what you have to do? You extend this line. You extend this line and draw somewhere here 2009, 10, 11. And see, we also extend this point line. Okay, and just see that particular this point where it is occurring. Okay, just make sure that you have drawn properly all of it. And corresponding this particular uh, frequency, like uh, observations, will give us. Is it around uh, around one one six, like two thousand year ka, two thousand year two thousand eleven, 
is uh, 116. So from the graph, it is going to be, uh, what is the unit given here? 1000 units. So it will be approximation 116. Check whether it is getting approximate to this. So if, if you will be draw properly, like using proper measurements, then only you will be get approximate answer 116. But if you just draw very roughly, then you won't be get the answer of maybe similar to this. Shivam is getting 113 and Pema is getting same answer 116 approximate. So draw very accurate, like draw this graph very accurately, then only you can uh, you may get the answer like 116.5 or 117 like that. Any question in this method anyone? Any question? Or you not understood anything like how to calculate? So you now do the same example. Okay. You do the same example. So you may take down the same example. Only I'm just giving the data of like 2009. So just take down the, I have a data with me. Take 2009 ka data, which is uh, 120. Okay, add more, add the next, uh, like next example, example number three, take as a practice, okay, that is as a practice, you t insert one more column and write down 2009 and take their sales become 120. Okay, and now you try to draw the, uh, by the method of, just, I'll just change, I'll just change this method, this is the method of semi average the method of semi average average okay. so by the method of semi average method okay so just using semi average method you solve that example number three which i have just now given okay so just add here one more column which is 2009 and take the sales will be 120 and try to predict what could be uh, my sales for the year 2011 from the graph okay so just check whether is there is any uh, changes in the data like if you just include one more year what could be effect in my uh, sales and then we can see in the next class Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, you. see you on the next one.